Thrasher gets brake checked mid-air. <laughs> no digression. Who is at fault? Romano is clean as a whistle. Thrasher should have checked up. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree. Let's watch it. Ah, Thrasher hits Romano and they both go for a ride. Thrasher almost rides away from it, but Romano's bike goes out in front of him and he hits it and just just bad. Just all around bad. Could have been worse. Glad that both boys are okay. Why do I believe that Thrasher is the one at fault? Well, Romano is out front. He's got a bike length. He's dictating the race pace. Both of these boys are not new to racing. They know that Bubba changed the game. No longer are you just soaking up with the legs straight up and down. You're coming off sideways. You're whipping. And that transition starts at the bottom of the lip. And we come off at 20 degrees or so. You come off at an angle. You go left to right or right to left. All right? And Thrasher was following too close to Romano. They both come off the lip doing the same thing. Romano's just doing race pace. He's looking forward. I don't believe that he's trying to cross jump his teammate because that happens a lot. This is professional racing. They know that. you got to have faith in the rider in front of you or around you. These guys are in have incredible bike control. They're not like the typical Joe Schmo. They know what's going on around him. So therefore, again, it's more of a problem for Thrasher that he should have just checked up. Because they both are scrubbing the same direction. Okay, Romano maybe whips it a little bit further. But if Thrasher wasn't had that wheel turned over and he was just straight up and down, it wouldn't have happened. Wouldn't have happened. He should have just checked up. To me, this is one of those things of young, dumb, full of cum kind of a thing. No, it's it's maybe a little bit. But it's, it's racing and you're the only rider that's on the track that's racing, right? In your head, you're the only guy that matters. Okay, because you're racing, you want to beat your teammates, you want to beat everything. There's a lot on the line. There's not that many rides available. You're on the best team in the 250s, arguably. All right, so it's a dick measuring contest. You know, hey, potentially I caught you. I'm faster than you. I need to get around you quickly. Example, the same thing happened in last year, Millville. Ironically, just a couple corners later, close to the finish line, you had Cooper Webb and Sexton. Webb had the line. Sexton was going to make the pass because he was scrubbing. Should have Webb should have checked up or Sexton should have checked up. They shouldn't have scrubbed into each other, right? But this was a dick measuring contest. Webb is used to riders shutting down. Sexton is saying, hey, I'm not going to let that happen anymore. And they touch. Webb kind of had the line, but Sexton had the inertia going. One of them should have done that. Boom. And it bit Cooper in the ass because of it. They learn from the experience. They know, hey, it might be harder to trust each other moving forward. Could this be the scenario with Thrasher and Romano? Potentially, but I think it's a learning experience for both of them, and I do think Thrasher should have just checked up, right? So let me know in those comments below. It is ironic that Romano does say, unfortunately, I got hit midair. I 1,000% agree with that. Okay, I've got a lot of content planned, so you got to like, subscribe, share the video, you know, hit the notification icon, and then just keep it WFO. Bra -da 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 -da!